maganda, matalino, nagtapos ng kolehiyo sa sikat na unibersidad, may pamilyang kinaiinggitan ng karamihan at iginagalang sa lipunan. Ito ang tila perfectong buhay ni Marilyn Robles. I was a career woman. There were times when I lived in a suitcase. I traveled around the Philippines. I handled people. I was in marketing, so I took charge of partly of the field force and uh, made sure that the company grew. Matasalin, masunurin sa magulang, mapagmahal sa mga kapatid, sinikap gawin ang lahat ng mabuti at tama sa paningin ng Diyos at lipunan. Ganito na muhay si Carolina Reyes noon. Siyempre nung kabataan at exactly 6 o'clock, we have to be at home inside the house to pray the angelus. That's very typical during the war. No? And then uh, when I live with my parents, we live with, our, with my parents already in Manila, we eat always together, we live together, and we pray together the rosary every day. Ngunit ang buhay ay hindi isang derechong daan lamang. Ito ang katotohanan ng napatunayan ni Marilyn, taong 1995. Pagpunta ko doon, di ba kukunin mo yung test results mo sa lab? Nakita ko sa baba. Positive for lupus, possibility of renal involvement. Parang time stood still eh. Ano, ano to? Pumunta lang ako dito, may lupus ako. Ang lupus ay isang nakamamatay na sakit na unti-unting sumisira sa internal organs. Sa office, I think, come to think of it, marami nagbago. Hindi ko lang alam na nagbabago. That is the irony of it all. The day I was diagnosed with lupus, Marilyn Mana I Robles then died. Because that's how it is. When you have lupus, your life will change. Nobody told me that. Namatay na yun eh. That person will cease to exist. Unti-unting ninakaw ng lupus ang perfectong buhay ni Marilyn. When my children were growing up, before I knew it, iba na. Hindi ko alam eh. Basta pag one day I woke up, nagdadalaga na yung anak ko. Ba't naging ganyan yan? And syempre, bugnutin ako eh. Irritable palagi. Ba't ganyan? Palaging maybe yung frustration ko sa sarili ko, yung nagiging ganun. Basta in other words, yung happy family, we traveled before. I doubted on my kids. I mothered a lot. Something which my husband never liked. Palagi niya sinasabi, you mother too much. Ganun ako eh. I could not help it. And then one day, parang yung anak ko hindi ko nakilala. Anong nangyari along the way? I don't know. Unti-unting nagkalayo ang relasyon ni Marilyn sa kanyang anak. Ngunit ang mas malaking dagok, ang paglayo ng inaasahan niya sanang aagapay sa kanya. Nung panahon na, how do I say? I was my husband's best friend. Yung marriage namin was like toss of the town. Despite and in spite of all negative things being said about us and our relationship. We held on strong. We were happy. Pero hindi ko makonceive na mangyayari sa akin. Because I have a good husband who loved me, who really cared for me. But you see, he had his own issues to address. Bakit? Did anybody ask me, Marilyn, you have had lupus for so long? What about your sex life? Did anybody bother to ask me? No. Did anybody bother to ask my husband what was going on? No. One day, I just found out of the betrayal. Ay, parang, namatay na nga ako noon. May panigbagong kamatayan ako. Yung may sakit ka na, tapos yung wala na yung taong kinakapitan mo. Saan ako kakapit? Sinong maniniwala sa akin? Who will hold me? That is why I don't want to talk about it. Because I don't think he ever knew I only wanted to be hugged. 
yun lang ang hinihingi ko sa kanya. Hindi ako humingi ng pera. And he knows this. I only want to be hugged, cuddled, and assured. May buhay pa after lupus, kahit mahirap. Kahit mahirap na mahirap. Diyos ko, Diyos ko, bakit mo ako pinabayaan? Minsan, hindi mo alam kung ano ang mas masakit na sugat eh. Yung sugat ng katawan o yung sugat ng puso na nag-iisa. Sa nakita natin kay Jesus at sa mga dakilang tao sa Biblia at pati sa ating mga santo, makikita natin na sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pagdurusa, lalo namang naging dalisay ang kanilang pananampalataya. The Lupus Foundation became part of me the year that I was diagnosed. Kasi basically, ang pagkatao ko, ma, I like to give. Yung pagka meron ako, hindi ko iniisip yung ibibigay ko sa'yo kasi I will get something in return. No. Gusto ko lang. You know, many people could not understand that. Yung sa akin, happy na ako dito sa the little things that I have. You say, nung nag-diagnose ako, yun ang sama ako ng loob. Wala kasing nangintindi sa akin eh. Wala kasi ang intindi. Sana pagkaya ng Lupus Foundation ngayon, meron kang kasamang uupo sa'yo. Halika rito. O, umiyak ka dyan. Sige, iyak. Hanggang ngayon lang ang iyak, ha? Bukas di ka naiyak, ha? Kasi mahabang halabanan to. Eh, ako nun, I wanted to cry. I really wanted to cry. Ang sama-sama ng loob ko nun. Ang sakit ay, ah, isa sa parang napaka-ordinaryong karanasan ng tao. Kaya ako, una pinapaalaala ko sa tao na ang sakit ay palatandaan na tayo ay talagang may mga limitasyon. No? Talagang may limitasyon ang katawan, ang ating puwersa, kahit ano pang daming pag-iingat ang iyong ginagawa. Misan, hindi mo naman kasalanan, ay talagang uh, may darating na darating na makakasingit na virus o bakterya. Meron tayong limitasyon. At hindi natin kailangan palagi na maghahanap ng masisisi pag nagkasakit. Talagang we are limited creatures. Because the hardest is to part with a child. Parang parte yun ng magulang eh, ang bata. So that was the big call. Walang iyo dito sa mundo. <laughs>